This is your tour of the Forks River Wolf Pup. We'll go ahead and start with the outside. First, we have an external fridge here and a small freezer. It can be accessed in this compartment here. We have some outlets if you need to plug in any of your electronic devices. We also have the ability to hook up some cable devices if you have direct TV. We got some external speakers that you can hook up to your phone via Bluetooth. They also light up. I'll show you that switch later. You have a leash latch. You can hook up your dog or any friend, any friendly pet. Around the back side here, you got your black tank and gray tank valves. I would leave the black tank shut as there is no black water hookup. In the event your shower overflows, you pull this gray knob and it lets out your soapy water. I wouldn't worry about it because it's just soap and water. Got your electrical hookup. This is an exterior door that leads to the bunk bed. I generally keep this locked. As you can see, you got some storage, two chairs, and it leads right to the bunk beds. This is the locking mechanism, which can be locked from the inside. This light here, if you need to come out in the middle of the night when it's dark to release your gray tank, I'll show you the light switch that's inside. Over here you have your external shower, operates just like a regular shower. Left is hot, right is cold. I have the city water connected, so you should have a constant water supply. This here is a propane tank. All you got to do, keep the propane on. The propane powers your hot water heater and internal heater. All right, let's make our way inside. As you can see, the awning is out. How you operate the awning, you can hit the button here. Awning extract pushes it out. Awning retract brings it in. In the event that the wind comes and the thing starts to flop around, I'd recommend pulling it in. But make sure the door is at least horizontal so that bar there, otherwise it'll get caught. Inside, again, you have an internal locking mechanism. It's locked. Now it's unlocked. Pull this to get out. You can also leave the screen door closed while leaving the main door open. You simply pull this just like that, and there you go. Inside, we have a coffee pot and two coffee cups. You have a strainer on the inside. All it needs to do, fill up with water. Up top, we have some sugar, creamer, and the coffee. Unfortunately, I'll have to poke a hole in the top of this coffee cup and empty it into that strainer. Over here, we got some paper towels, some hand soap. Underneath, we got some bowls, plates, dish soap, sponge, some cups, and some plasticware. This is your gas-operated stove. You simply flip, flip up the glass partition, turn the electric on, turn the heat on, the propane on, and push, and that ignites the stove. Always make sure it is in the off position. Once you're done using it, or the camper will fill up with propane, and that's not a good thing. You have a light here and a fan. 
microwave operates like a regular microwave. This here is a freezer and fridge. You enter it by pushing down and out. The freezer is the opposite. You push up and out. We have the bed made for you. Fresh sheets, fresh blankets, fresh pillowcases. Up top. You have some all-purpose cleaner and some extra toilet paper. And the next one, you have some towels, washcloths, and some bath soap. This is your radio. Push it to turn it on. It has AM and FM, and if you want to hook it up to your Bluetooth, you simply press the BT button and you'll see this radio pop up on your phone. And all you have to do is select it, and now your phone is hooked up to the external and internal speakers. This here is the television. It's got a Roku device hooked up to it. If you have access to the internet, all you have to do is hook it up to the internet and you'll have a Hulu and Netflix account already linked to it. This here's the control panel. I always leave the water pump on and the water heater on. That way you'll have a constant supply of hot water. Awning lights. Hit that and you'll see the blue LED lights turn on on the inside as well as a blue LED strip on the outside and the blue LED lights turn on on the external speakers. Hit the awning lights again to turn it off. This convenience light is the light that's above the gray tank on the outside. Hit it once to turn it on, hit it a second time to turn it off go on into the bathroom. This is your standard camper toilet. It operates just like an airplane toilet. You push the pedal down all the way and it opens that up. Once you're done doing your business, push the pedal down slightly to fill it up with water and it prevents the gases from escaping. In the event you're doing smelly business, you have this air vent. All you have to do is twist it, opens it up, push this button, and it sucks that air out. Always make sure this is closed, especially on rainy days. This here is your shower. It operates like a regular shower. The left knob turns left, makes hot water. Right knob turns right, makes cold water. This here is a sink. You can take the nozzle and put it right over here and you have a sink. Standard shower curtain. Always keep the curtain inside of the lip. We don't want water coming out. This here is your rooftop air conditioning unit. Right now, I have it set to cold. This here controls your temperature. This here controls your air flow. If you want to close the downward facing vents and only have the air blowing outwards, simply do this. Now the air is coming out of all of the side vents. There we go. This here controls your thermos. All the way to the right is hot, all the way to the left is off. And that concludes today's tour of the Wolf Pup.